Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will talk about a very well-known uh, puppet for the Iranian, and he is he used to be in the Parliament and uh, of England. His name is George Galloway. Now this guy, uh, you can contact him yourself and tell him who is the one who pay your salary. Uh, he work in the Iranian TV, which is an English channel owned by Iran, and he is the puppet of Iran. And this guy is always ready to stand and defend Islam, especially the Shia. Uh, now in here, in this video, he is attacking a pastor, his name is Jim, James McCone. I don't know this person, I never heard him before. But what I understand from this video, that this pastor, he said that you cannot trust Muslims. And now this uh, George, he is going to tell us how ignorant Pastor James, according to him. Why he is ignorant? Make it clear, there was an open seat for them. Where on earth are they? Well, you see, otherwise it would just be the case of a embarrassingly foolish old man who thinks that Muslims follow Sharara law, uh, a word that he mispronounced. Should he, should he know how to pronounce it? Because you yourself, you do not know how to pronounce it. Because the letter Ain is not exist in English, you idiot. So he just called an old man foolish man aren't you foolish yourself can you say it yourself i challenge you there's not even one western man he can say the word correctly what do you say you say sharia law there's nothing it's called sharia law actually it is sharia not sharia because you don't have it in english however the word sharara because you don't speak arabic you are stupid it's perfectly fit with islam because sharara mean fire fire this first fire you start to fire up something this is exactly sharia law you fire up with the, the word with it you burn the word with it so perfectly fit if you say sharara continue at least 11 times he's got a lot of support uh, well otherwise it would listen to what he will say first minister no less and i heard the car crash interview peter robinson gave today to so the irish news he gave that interview to the irish yeah, news there is no point John in now saying that in no circumstances does he not trust Muslims. Let me tell you something. If this guy, he said, you cannot trust Muslims under any circumstances, I agree. All this stupid fool and this guy who worked for the Iranian, this guy is a, is a person who betray his country. There's many people like those, they are for sale. They are the puppets, the dogs of Iran, the dogs of Saudi Arabia, the dogs of Qatar. Money, money talk. His mouth, get him money, full of money. This guy, he don't work. He don't go to work. He get paid his salary. I challenge him to say I don't get my salary from the embassy of Iran. He is full-time employee for the Iranian TV station. And his job is to promote Islam and defend Islam. That's all. And that's why all the Muslims, they voted for him in the election. And he was elected in the Congress in England. However, when this person, this gentleman, I, I pay my respect to him for saying what he said, if this is what he said, Mr. Pastor James McCon. If he's really said that you cannot trust Muslims, is he right or is wrong? You see, talk, how, 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 meow, 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 it doesn't make any difference. Can he prove to us that he is wrong? Like, can you show us evidence from the book of Muslims that Muslims are the people to be trusted? Let us go to the books and shut up this filthy mouth with the proofs and reference. I'm going to expose you, you potato. You are nothing but a scam. Let us see together. This is the Quran. Chapter 3, verse number 28. And this is the interpretation of Ibn Abbas, one of the best scholars ever of in Islam. Look what the Quran says. The Quran says in many places that Muslims cannot take friends from Christian and Jews, as you know. Chapter 5, verse 51, as an example. Uh, like this one here. Read the translation. This is not my translation. And here, this one actually it says that Allah, He will spread hate and enmity between the Christians. So it's very clear that all Muslims have been taught that not only they they hate the Christians, even Allah Himself, He have a duty to spread hatred between the Christians, as we see in the verse in the front of us. You can read any translation you like. 
So I, can I trust a Muslim who believe that his God, his duty is to spread hate between me and my brother? Why? Obviously, this is the message of hate. So we planted amongst them enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection. Who is the one who is doing that? Allah. To who? To the Christians. Can we trust such a God and his followers? We cannot. Let us continue. What about chapter 5 verse 51? Take not Christians and Jews as a friends. Uh-oh. I thought he is coming to defend the Muslims saying that we can trust them. If they cannot take me as a friends and the protectors and helpers, they can take me as what? As enemy. <laughs> and if any of you, which means Muslims, if any amongst you takes them as awliya, which mean friends or helper or protectors or uh, 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 etc., he is not a Muslim no more because the word says verily Allah guide not those who people who do that which mean you are out of Islam you became apostate and we know that those who became apostate they are called unjust which means they are kuffar and you will be killed and the same can be found in chapter 3 verse number 28 here chapter 3 verse 28 it's repeating the same thing that Muslims cannot take the non-believers as a friend and uh, Islam always Muslim they consider you just because you are a Muslim you are a hypocrite and you are a disbeliever so you cannot take them the Christian the Jews the disbelievers as for your friend if you are a Muslim you cannot become might, mighty and honorable to them which means you cannot respect them show honor honor to them and if you seek might and honor to those people, which mean us, then you are a disbelievers. You have no connection to with Allah. So this is the threat. The second, the Muslim is really my friend, it means he considers me as a friend. That second, he is not a Muslim no more. So can I trust a Muslim? He believe in this? A Muslim who is God saying to him, if you take them really as a friend, if you mean it, if you really honor them, if you really take them as helpers, if you really take them as a friends, the second you, that, you do that, you have no connection with Allah, no honor, no mercy or protection, which means we will kill you. We will kill you. No protection. You see the word protection? Protection from Allah. What protection from Allah? Mean the Muslims, they have the right to shed your blood. You are out of the protection from Allah. This this filthy George Galloway, who is a Muslim underground, he was telling us he is attacking the guy for saying we cannot trust Muslims. Yes, we cannot trust Muslims. Let us continue reading. Allah continues saying, unless, unless what? Muslims can take you, Alfred. Unless, unless what? Unless you guard yourself against them, save yourself from them. Taken as it were. Ah, security. So you don't mean it. It's security. So I am a Muslim. I live in the West. I cannot say to the Christians and the Jews and the atheists, I want to kill you. I want to eat you alive. I want to destroy you. I want to put a car bomb. I can say to them, we are friends. You can trust me. I'm a decent citizen. I'm like you. I pay my tax. I obey the law. I am an obedient citizen. As security measure, you do that as security because you don't have the over, you, 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 you know, you don't have the power to overcome them. So then, you bow down, let it go, but you don't take them for real as a friend. Saving yourself from them by speaking. Let us highlight this here so we can see it better. Saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart dislikes this. Oh, oh, but this filthy George Galloway was giving us speeches about we should trust the Muslims. A Muslim been ordered by Allah to speak to me in a friendly way. It's okay as long as his heart dislike this. You see, we don't do what those trashy 
people in the West who sold themselves to the devil. When we debate about something, we prove it with reference of the beliefs of the one we are talking about, not speeches. For those who do not know, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. It's owned by the king himself, Ahlul Bayt organization. The address is Amman, owned by the king, the royal family. This is why it's called Royal Ahlul Bayt Institute of Islamic, for Islamic thought. This is official website of the King of Jordan, the best friend of America, mm -hmm. right? So this is what Muslims they have in their books. This is what they believe in. So who is the stupid fool who want to come and teach us, give us speeches about why we should trust Muslims like this guy? You must be a stupid fool to trust a man like you. Actually, uh, I believe Muslims are more uh, less to worry from from you because you are a person who betray his country. At least Muslims they don't belong to this land. But you are a person who born in this land, but you betray your country. You are the son of the devil, and you will burn in hell for saying lies, speaking lies, telling lies, and deceiving many. And the Lord one day will fill your mouth with all the money you deserve but it's going to be a different kind of money that was the hellfire thank you everybody please spread the video and please stop sharing my video by click and share I want to see people who download the videos I'm really disappointed of those who call themselves Christians fake ones you don't dare to make a video by your voice you don't pay dare to, pay to, to post a text under your name. You don't dare to talk. You don't dare to answer. You don't dare to, to, to debate. You don't dare to do anything. And you don't dare even to download my videos and spread them around. And what is the result? We got people like those became famous and they deceive your children. So don't cry later when you see your child is convinced with filthy men like this. Because you are lazy. You are a coward and you don't dare to say the truth. It is time to prove that you are a Christian. Spread the truth, not by clicking underneath the video and share. Download the video, post it somewhere. Not necessarily even in YouTube, different website, everywhere, wherever you can. Look how much Muslims, they are in love with their devil religion. And look how much the Christians are lazy. Lazy. Very disappointing. If we are not lazy, we will not see those people in our countries. If we are not lazy, we will not see people deceiving many of us making them believe that not Islam is not a bad religion, there is some who hijack Islam. If we are not lazy, we will not see newspaper, TV station, praising Islam, talking good about Islam, when the fact it is the opposite. Because we are lazy. Because we don't stand for the truth. Because everybody hiding behind a tree says, let someone else do it. Well, we are doing it. Can't you pause the video? Christ is Lord, Islam is false, I mean.